February 17th, technology. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. First Corinthians 15, 51 and 52. A Georgia woman who tragically lost her hands, a leg, and a foot to a flesh-eating disease received bionic hands. The remarkable prosthetic hands enable her to do most of life's regular tasks, including cooking, cleaning, and drinking. This is reminiscent of The Six Million Dollar Man, a fictional television program from the 1970s about a severely injured man who was rebuilt with robotic body parts. As with so many technological advances, the Georgia woman's story has seen science fiction become a reality. Yet while we thank God for the technological advances that result in changing the lives of the sick or injured, the best that science can do is to modify or replace. A person who receives life-saving surgery will one day die. The best a transplant recipient can hope for is a few more decades of life. Wonderful, certainly, but very much temporary. But consider what God can do and what God will do. We shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. This is not a modification of the old. While modern science can do incredible things, the God of science can do so much more. One day, God will raise the dead and give both the righteous dead and the righteous living new bodies. Technology could never do that. The God who made us fearfully and wonderfully will one day wake the sleeping dead, calling forth from their final resting places all who died in the faith in Jesus Christ. No artificial limbs will be needed. No reading glasses, crutches, or wheelchairs will be seen on that day. As grateful as we are for the wonders of technology, the God who gives wisdom to scientists, inventors, engineers, and doctors is going to do more than anyone has ever seen. What a day it will be when Jesus returns.